Uh, the ever-changing Leeds Rhino squad is still is still shifting about. Uh, we've got some injury concerns over both Jamie Jones Buchanan and Brett Delaney. Uh, so, no, the both they are, they are both injuries. They're not they're not little niggles. So we'll we'll see on that. They're not ruled out at this stage. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll we'll give them while the eleventh hour. When when you actually met that call sort of morning of the game. Uh, probably more more likely tomorrow. Uh, it, it just depends how they turn up tomorrow. If, it, if there has been improvement again tomorrow, we'll probably leave it well the day of the game. But uh, yeah, we'd like to, we'd like to know at least you know by by at least tomorrow for for as much as anything to give the lad who's uh, who's going to take his place or either one of the players if they don't play, give them notification. So is that affecting preparations or because they are two fairly? Well, I think uh, possibly, possibly there's a little bit of uh, disruption there. But we've been, we've been, we've seen it here and done it, and it, got the book and got the t-shirt this year in terms of dealing with injuries. So uh, those fellows are waiting to come in. They know the score there. That's all been above board, and uh, you know they're they're mindful of that. And uh, the, the team, we just we run with that with a 13 through the week and see where that goes. Not ideal, but we we'll crack on with it. No, I think every team would say, well, I remember the season of such and such, I remember that year, but uh, our physio showed me, Andy Barker showed me the list of players that have been injured and the games that this team's missed through injury, uh, and it's crazy, it's crazy, I've never known it as bad as this, and so many uh, to so to such a collection of key people as well for such a long period of time, you know, broken bones and broken thumbs and snap knees and all sorts. It's uh, it's been crazy this year, and to, to say we finished third is, I think, it's a remarkable effort by the players. Because they sort of be in this position, like 80 minutes away from the grand final, is pretty special. It is, and, and not one of the group, not one of the players, that, for any stretch of the imagination, are thinking, "Oh, haven't we done well?" They're all as keen as hungry as ever. You know, they will be as disappointed as ever if we don't win on Friday night and we won't be consoling ourselves by thinking well we've come third you know it's that's something we'll uh, we're proud of in, in the off season but we're you know we're still going to get there. Is it fair to say Leeds and Wigan brings the best best out of both teams these games? Well they say and they play the game in the right manner they have a crack you know they uh, they're uh, they provide some entertainment Wigan and uh, you know I'd like to think we do as well uh, yeah, I think there's a right mix there. I think boxers and boxing fights often the the uh, people talk about styles make a fight, and I think the, you've got two different type of styles in in our leads and, and Wigan play. Uh, but when they meet, they they provide a fair amount of entertainment. Talked before about struggling to win without Sean Lachlan. I suppose it disproved that against against Huddersfield. Yeah, that, I, well, I think the the talk about Sean Lachlan is warranted. He's a fantastic player. Had a cracking year. But uh, they're not a one-trick pony, you know. You make that same likeness to Sam, Sam Tonkins as well. They've got a, uh, I think Blake Green and and uh, Young Smithy are uh, probably been under talks this year. They've had a decent effect on their team this year. So they're not a one-trick pony. They have got other players in the team to be aware of. They're going to be out there as well to sort of send. Sam off and Pat Richards off and the other people that are leaving off on a high from the last game of the DW as well. Is that a factor that you sort of have to consider <clears throat> factor into anything? I think I think what Wigan will be doing is uh, yeah, they'll be making a big thing of that. They'll want to send Sam off in a, in such a good fashion. He's been a good servant to the team, as has Pat Richards, who's been one of the best overseas signings his competitions had, never mind Wigan's had. Uh, and I'm sure they'll want to send them off in, in great fashion. I'm sure both Sam and Pat will want to have massive games on the night uh, and have a huge influence over their team's performance. So, you know, I, I think we're going to be mindful of that. Does, does that make it easier or harder for you, or does it not really matter? I just think we'll be facing a very, very determined Wigan, regardless whether Sam's in, you know, it's his last game or not. The rivalry between the sides has really set the cramps up since the last Super League semi final with all the sort of incident right at the end and Wigan being aggrieved at that and you going through. Have you noticed that as the games have gone on every time you've met Wigan? What incident was this? I forget. Go on to tell me. Uh, was it the one that right, <coughs> sorry, right at the very end, George Carmont was going through and the one my daddy got injured. They claimed he was play acting. 
Oh, that was three years ago. Yeah, but it, since then, it's really sort of cranked up the rivalry between the sides. If you, right. Have you noticed that? There's certainly been competitive games. Mm. Other than when we got shellackled 56-6 here last season, there have been competitive games. I think my first year we played Wigan here, 2011. I think that was a draw. You know, that was a really dramatic game. And, uh, you know, a couple of controversial little calls when we've been over there in the last couple of seasons. And Etihad was a another tough encounter and uh, we all know what just happened a couple of weeks so that was a, a real intense, fun, you know, fantastic game that was to be involved with so I'm sure it'll look something similar. Jeremy, how much can you take out of that last meeting and the, the DW or does it not matter? Um, I suppose it's a different game really. I think, you know, we've played well in that game and I think it'll be that type of game, that high intensity game. Um, it, it, we're going to take a lot of breaking down and we're going there with a lot of respect for them. We, even though we won the game, you know, you might it might have looked convincing in the end. Um, I, I had a hell of a lot of respect for the Wigan team after that game and all our players did, so we go there with, with that respect. But you surprised everyone that saw that game commented how well you played as a team and then you went to Warrington. Did, did that disappoint you? <coughs> yeah, yeah. The the low, well, it? yeah, you know, I, I think as a player you, you strive for consistency. I think, you know, you don't want to be like... The, like a roller coaster, you want to be the flat keel of playing, playing well all the time, and uh, and that wasn't it. But that's rugby, you know. That sport, you can't be on every day, and we was on that day. And Warrington deserved the win, you know. We, we uh, to be honest, we didn't want the club call, so uh, <laughs> that's, that's why it was. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, we didn't want, want it to beat Warrington, but they won, and so let's move on from it. You said on Twitter afterwards that you couldn't write what your feelings were because you. Break all kinds of laws and profanities. Was that as angry as you've been? Yeah, yeah. Well, I was, I was pretty pissed off, you know. Um, you know, because you, you, you want to get there and play well in games, and uh, as everybody's a team, and uh, yeah, and, you know, sometimes anger is a, an, an emotion that comes out of a, a, a loss like that. Um, it's just about channeling it in the right way. How have you been? It's been a tough couple of weeks for you, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it has, yeah. I mean, it's been longer than a, a tough couple of weeks, to be honest, but um, these last two have been, you know, probably harder than most. But, um, you know, I've got um, a great support network around me, you know, including my family, but also people involved within rugby, both at Stanley and, and here at Leeds. And um, I can't thank these people enough for, um, you know, being being able to help. And it has been incredibly difficult, Um and it's, I don't think it's something you you, don't, you understand until you go through it yourself. Uh, you can only, you can only guess. Um, but yeah, yes. Yeah, Is the reaction from the rugby league, rugby community around Leeds sort of surprised you in a way? Um, I, I don't think it surprised me. Just just uh, just it made me realise, you know, what a, I don't know what, what what nice people are involved in the game and just. <laughs> it's pretty loud now, that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, it, it, it just it was nice, you know, um, just seeing all the people who are involved with Standing Rugby Club and the, the Rhinos as well. It's just been nice how everybody's been. Obviously, Man of Steel nomination. Uh, two thousand and three was the last time. Uh, is it this the best you think you've played? Or I think. Probably the best that I played consistently. I, I can't really remember having it too many poor games this year, you know. And I think, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty old now. Um, if you see me during the week, you, you wonder how, wonder how, how uh, did what I do on the weekend. But yeah, you know, I, I consistently played well this year. I think I've had quite a few periods within my career where I, I played well, but not for so consistently long. I think. Have you surprised yourself with that? Um. I'm not, not. I'm not surprised. You know, I've been pleased more than anything. You know, I've been. I've been pleased more than all to to try keep high performance at a high level every week. You know, and I think um, I've been pleased with it. The, the, the big games we've had, I think I have played well in those, and that's something I always think you should do as a senior player. So I've been. I've been particularly pleased more than anything with that. What would it mean to you, Jamie, if you were to win the Albert Yeah, it'd be, it'd be a big thing. I'd rather win the Grand Final, to be honest. I don't want to, you know, it's a team sport and I want to, I want to win the Grand Final. Um, and if I didn't win Man City and win the Grand Final, I'd be probably more happy than, I would be more happy than if I won it and we lost the Grand Final, didn't even get to the Grand Final. But if I, if I won it, you know, I'd be over the moon. It's a special, 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 special award, but, you know. Has there been any... 
come back for England, given how well you've played? Or was um, it, I know you're doing your TV work now and stuff. Yeah, there was, yeah, there was a little bit, but I, I, I'll be honest, you know, I, I don't think I could rate Rice for another few games, you know, um, it would be nice if I could, and um, I thought about it, and there were thoughts about it, but there's better props out there than me at th this time of year who have been better conditioned and be able to <coughs> do more than I can do at the moment, you know, I think the... the just you know, I'm not 36. It's, it's a 30 odd game season, and to do a two two month tournament and play as well as possibly could, I, I don't think uh, I don't think that's uh, I don't think it's doable. So if you don't think something's doable, then you probably probably um, best not doing it. Trying to do it. Was that your thought, Jamie? Or someone suggested you might want to come back? Do you want to give it another go? No, no, it was my thought. You know, I thought uh, uh, it's a big thing playing for England. You know. Um, I'm, I'm probably playing in a world, world Cup. It's a massive thing playing in a World Cup, sorry, especially in your own own, own uh, country. But sometimes you've got to be honest with yourself, you know. And as much as something you'd like to do, you, you've got to be honest with yourself and say it, it ain't gonna. It's not gonna. It's not something you can do. And now that's hard to tell yourself, but, but you have to do that. When did, at what point during the campaign did you actually sort of make that? Um, yeah, probably towards the back end, really. You know, towards the back end of the year, uh, you, you were fine. You know, training's a bit harder than you'd like it to be for yourself, and you just think, I don't. You know, you, you know, you can fire yourself out of a gun at a weekend for the for the for the team, but then to do it for an additional two months at the end of the year, it's not it's not within doing. And you no, know, there's so many good props coming through as well. You know, you, we've got the Burgesses and. Uh, James Graham, people like Chris Hill as well. You know, there's, there's. I think we're covered in that position. So, I wouldn't want to stay. I wouldn't want to be in someone's way neither. You know, spoil their experience. How, how good is the guy next to you this season, Brandon? Uh, in my well, in my <laughs> in my opinion, it's. Uh, I think what he said there about get a, a ten level of performance, but doing it. I won't say every week, but I would say most weeks. I don't think I'd be wrong in saying most weeks. And even when he's dipped. He's just become normal. And then you take my opinion out of it and just look at our stats. We have our own little bit of a stat system and he's just blown those out of the water. You know, the nearest to him is uh, is still a way off in terms of not just work rate but quality as well. You know, tackle bust and line breaks and try assist and line break assist and defensively as well. Uh, you know, we, we talked a lot about pre-season and what, you know, him not playing for England last year and having a pre-season with us. And I think it's a combination of just an incredibly determined man who wants to succeed, which is mind-blowing how much he does want to succeed, combined with the fact that he can physically do it as well. I would say his, uh, his, de his determination is any greater this year, but actually he can physically back up what he actually desires to do, which is uh, it's an interesting story for JP, but I think it's worth noting that if he's done this at the age of 36 on the back of a good pre-season, how good would Kev be? How good would Sam, Tomkin Sam Tomkins be? How good would James Roby be? Uh, if they had a good old pre-season. I don't know the answer to that, by the way, but I'm just throwing that up with that. Uh, we always point the bone at you know, our sport bl blooming as it should be on the back of a good international series. Uh, it's worth noting that on the back of one, pre one good pre-season with him at the age of 36. You told me you were 34, by the way. Yeah, no. <laughs> Aidan Marley tried to like him down as the oldest man, so he's probably Yeah, I know, he's, he's, uh, he's one for that, yeah. <laughs> He is the oldest. Yes. <laughs> get you quickly on the uh, ladders. Some of you both know well. Um, obviously, getting the coaching job at Hull. I haven't spoken to him. I probably won't do. He's be more. He yeah, I, you, JP, is he? I was about to ring him on the way here, but uh, I'm gonna ring him on the way back. Yeah, I'm really pleased for him. I think he's he's done his apprenticeship. I know you always say blokes need to do an apprenticeship. He's done an apprenticeship and he, he was always rugby smart, wasn't he? He was, he was always a rugby smart player and he's probably been coaching since he was 22, 23 with all the amateur stuff he's done and I think I think it's great to see a whole whole lad in charge of Hull. You know, that I think that's a that's a big thing for Hull, you know. Someone who knows what it means to come from the city and play for the city and knows the amateur set up around there. And I, I hope he I hope he does a, a, a good job. A real good job I think he will do.